okay, this is crazy shit. Because <laughs> uh, I think great the open palm, because you can feel the induction of energy and the heat in your palm when you do exactly what this statue is doing. Great Braden, because I took him to the Asian, the Indian statues that I was looking at. Uh, okay, well, you're saying that you must keep your hands apart. And you're now saying that the Indian statues, Indian brain statues, their hands are always apart. I think we'll have to have a look at that, won't we? <laughs> so let's have a look at several examples. First off, he just put words in my mouth. I didn't say they were always apart. I said that I took him the ones I was looking at. Obviously, Greg found them. Oh, here's one. Fingers are touching, palms are touching. So you're uh, Indian. Oh, here's more of them. They've all got their hands together. These top ones here, there's a little bit of... See, I told you you should have had just bent fingers, Eric. But every other one of these pictures, as we can plainly see, they have their hands together. And this is all about disproving that you can move something with your statoelectric charge and build up on your hands because you have a biomagnetic field. That's what he's bent on. For some reason, he's he's bent on proving medicine and science wrong in the name of his Christ. Any more pictures here? <laughs> She's got her hands together. Ooh, this dude's got his fingers together. This is the best he's got. So I'm yet to see. She obviously does an Indian praying statue with his hands. Apa. Oh look, they're touching too. And they're touching. <coughs> oh, they got a space in the middle, so perhaps you have to make it like a little ball, Eric. Like as if you're holding something. Because they're all clearly got their answers. Well, that's obviously enough of that. Uh, due to the <laughs> fact that Eric is again shown to be a gaslighting narcissist. Even though you found one yourself. Is pretty pathetic. Anyway, let's get back to uh, his video. Let's see if you got something else to say. Not Egyptian statues. Well, we've been through the Egyptians and now I've just been through the Indians. And what you say has turned out to be gaslighting nonsense, you little narc. And 1700. This right here is on Greg Braden. He found one. Real pretty one. With the hands apart. Just like the ones Lee found that said he couldn't find any. We were looking right at them. There was two of them I saw with their hands apart. I discovered this in the fucking bathtub. My palms started warming when I was doing that. And I was like, wow. And then I did the research over here that uh, shows and expresses the polarity of the human body and energy flow in our freaking cells etc so research is research and flapping your gums is just what lee does so you can believe words or you can do your own fucking homework now he's going on about dutch which is time stamped on my facebook page in 2012 and 2010 area where i was teaching how to predict quakes using my quake map and instrumentation. Lee obviously never did the homework on my Facebook where Dutch is arguing with me, calling me insane, saying that there would not be 5.0 quakes all day, every day, which there are multiple 5.0 quakes every day, all day now. So I'm not quite as crazy of an old man that Dutch Sense called me 10 years ago. And Lee's going on about Dutch Sense in his 10 years, imagine that, of quake predicting. You can see where I was fighting with Dutch for about a year and a half on my page, showing him how to do this and arguing about why I was able to do it. He didn't give a fuck. He doesn't use my map. And my map just changed, which is fun. But uh, yeah, I've, I've made several videos walking you right through what had happened on my Facebook page. 
and then he goes on to say that he taught that person everything and they don't know anything. I uh, did. Pretty much like how he says he knows all about magnets. And I, and I didn't say he didn't know anything. Lee doesn't, though. <laughs> know nothing, yet he sends 10,000 people a day, apparently, to my channel to learn all about magnetics. And Every one of my videos tells you to go to Scientific Lee. Reading the and I have uh, almost 11,000 subs. Writing on the, the walls of uh, all the statues and stuff like that in the world because I know that. But I don't know anything about magnetics and uh, he taught me and, you know, all that kind of normal narcissistic garbage. So, the so Sora Apophis knows Magnet better than Lee. Lee seems to know the Christ and obscure fucking religious text out of Bibles that nobody's ever read. Let's have a listen now to the flaps uh, trying to pretend that he sort of doesn't sense anything, and he's uh, predicting the end of the world. And then we're going to have a look at the Bible and see if this false prophet, uh, Flaps, is uh, is worthy of saying... Never have I... Anything you Never have I claimed to be anyone's prophet. Even did he say anything new that we didn't know for thousands of years? Let's have a check. Today, so far, we've had three sixes and ten five-point-oh claims. Back in 2014, on Facebook, I was arguing with Dutch Sense. And he argues with everybody, if you notice. He takes what they have, and then he starts saying that they don't know anything. You're quite you know, And telling him, you know, dude, if you're doing anyone a favor, you tell them what is going on and why you can tell when he's quite you know. Because I had talked people on my Facebook page how to do it. Like Dutch Sins was keeping things from people. You see how he's like, oh, why aren't you telling them what's coming? But Dutch doesn't. No, Dutch Sense argued with me and told me I was crazy. That there would not be 5.0s all day. Well, there are. No, no man knows. You can only speculate. I was not speculating. I was right. Obviously. So that's him pretending like he knew something that Dutch didn't. Mon, we've been having 6.0s for weeks. Last Christmas, time stamped on Shepard Ann Bellis's show, I predicted it because of the physics of the situation. Not because of some fucking random guess out of the Bible trying to be a prophet. And even if I was, I was right. <laughs> Not bullshit. I said, and he, he started arguing. I said, dude, this is fucking, he, he called me crazy. Isn't that strange? Another man that's about eight channels in a row now uh, that have called this man crazy, including myself. He's demon possessed or mentally deranged. Even though I've been right about every fucking word I said. <laughs> Listen to his words. He's calling me names, and that's the best he has to debunk anything I've got. This is fucking amazing. Uh, but now, uh, Dutch Sins is doing it. Let's see what he's got to say about Dutch. <laughs> he literally called me crazy because I said there will be multiple 5.0s per day. No, anybody who's been watching Earthquakes uh, would not balk at that statement. They wouldn't, certainly wouldn't call you crazy. So, uh, again, more gaslighting nonsense. Like, Look at the statistics. We were not having fibers every day in 2012 and 2014. It wasn't happening. But now it is. You know more than anybody else. <laughs> this is back when there was a 5.0 maybe once a week. And nobody thought they would increase like it was an impossibility. No, that's why people look into earthquakes, because they are increasing. Everybody so, called me crazy. You, know, like, you just said so. I was really interested in quakes and didn't care if they were increasing. I was the yeah, only was. motherfucker saying it. Maybe once a week. Eight channels called me crazy, Lee said. And Lee's calling me crazy still. We're having now, right now. Like I said they would back last Christmas. All right, let me just see if there's 10 six-pointers a day here. Hang on. I never said there were 10 six-pointers. I said there were multiple six-points a day for weeks.
Jesus Christ, this guy's nuts. The major one's greater than seven or once a month. So what's the average number of earthquakes? Once a month. Day. 55, that's 20,000. Uh, There's 55 per day usually on the average, and we've been having 50 four pointers. This is every statistic he's rolling through is proving me right again. Quakes around the globe, or approximately 55 a day. It's not telling me how many sixes, uh, how many sixes magnitude 5.9 to 6. Uh, in 2000, there were 1344. 2018, 1674. Why can't I move you? Okay. There's 129 three pointers. Four divided by 365 equals. So there's actually approximately five a day. So he's again inflated it to twice the uh, the amount. I mean, you just watched me go it in 2018. So it's not giving me anything more than that. I didn't inflate the amount. The amount inflated. What the heck? How did I cause that many quick? You, you, you insane. Uh, are, <laughs> even the questions. Are earthquakes increasing? Uh, I would like to make the statement. I did not make the increase in quakes just to meet my fucking narrative. Yeah. They increase on average of 16 major earthquakes worldwide per year. 7.0 is higher. So no, there aren't 10 6.0s a day. And uh, the flaps didn't show any information that showed that. We had four yesterday. And that's what I said. That's all I said. And we're having 10 a day because I was talking about the fives and we're also having multiple sixes. We have multiple sixes like I said they would back last Christmas. And I did. I said it on Ambellus' Shackled to Silence. And then he goes on for, I don't know, quite some time reading scripture and telling people how I'm a demon. So really interesting shit from Lee <laughs> again. He's got a playlist over there with 54, or wait a minute, it was 54 yesterday. Let's check on it today. My bad. He's got 76 videos on a playlist he has compiled since yesterday. Uh, claiming to debunk me, uh, much like this video that we just went over, where he actually proves me correct. Uh, again, 76 videos that prove me correct. Uh, Catch Lee talking about how he has taken down his own work just to take away anything that might support my, mine. Uh, John and I had taken him the 17 and 48 under a millimeter of water and he takes it down and brags about it in a couple of these. So, yeah. Have fun. <laughs> Apparently, he's attacking Thesaurus Apophis, too. So, uh, I haven't watched the playlist myself. I really don't. <laughs> yeah.